Hello everyone, I've got another Your Creative Studio unboxing to share with you today um, and for anybody who's unfamiliar with this, I'll leave the details of Your Creative Studio in the description box below. You can purchase one-offs or subscribe for two, three months or longer um, if you wish to. Um, beautifully curated and always bang on theme. Now it looks as if we've got um, a uh, floral design going on here. Um, my eyesight is so bad. I can't actually read the writing, but let's um, unpackage this and take a look inside. So I've just popped this off to the left hand side and let's take these pieces out one by one and see what fun goodies um, we've got this month. My goodness me, whale tail tabs. This is so funny. I have been trying to get hold of one of the whale tail um, punches for such a long time and they are ridiculously expensive. And then I received some in um, a package last month. Then um, my friend Evelyn um, offered to send me some as well. And <laughs> now I've received these too. These are just little tabs that you fold in half and put on the sides or the tops of your page is absolutely gorgeous oh my goodness me I can't tell you how excited I am about these because it's something I've wanted for such um, a long time so way to go um, we also have what does it say it's all in Chinese so I can't under understand it a little booklet all with some collage pieces inside um, one two three four Four of each design, so we've got lots of um, different designs here. Love these postage stamps, and these are just you know great collage elements to um, add to your journals. Um, beautiful, love that. Um, black and white collection. Let's see what we have here. Oh, some lovely um, floral images, and um, I just love these. They're so simplistic and just really add um, a nice pop to your finished pages. So we've got some vellum ones and some plain um, creamy coloured ones as well. So those are, are very handy. Washi tape. Let's have a look and see what um, this month's washi tape is. I've torn it. You know me. I try to usually preserve this packaging, but um, it's not happening today. <laughs> I've got plenty of it um, anyway. Um, so here we have um, a really pretty washi. Let me get this undone and I can show you what um, what this looks like. So really pretty floral design. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the colour of this one. Cling stamp. Let's have a look and see what um, cling stamp we've got this, this month. Yep, just one inside there. So a really pretty um, floral design. I love these stamps as well. Always beautiful. Another cling stamp set here. Is that just one? Or have we got more in there? No, just one. A huge one as well. How gorgeous is that? So we'll have a, a go with those and um, see how those hold up. This looks interesting. What is this it's a little trinket tin oh how adorably cute um is that so in fact actually i could put my whale tail tabs um inside there just cute for ke keeping things like postage stamps and all of that kind of um thing in really pretty um we have sticker sticker bricks what are sticker bricks let's find out oh circle stickers um this time oh those are cute so lots of different colors of um stickers so green blue and red they're just round um stickers great for for stamping on let's have a look and see what this is a sticky note very pretty by the looks of it oh that's beautiful so all the same design, but I think those are gorgeous. Very, very pretty um, indeed. And then a couple of pieces of paper ephemera as well. And, you know, keep the packaging. Um, whoops. 
the backgrounds of these are just absolutely wonderful for making tags with um, just beautiful designs this is beautiful textured paper i absolutely love this oh and we've got several different designs as well so four or five five sheets or six um, by the looks of it of each so we've got this beautiful design here um, then this one and then we've got this one here as well. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Beautiful. Then we have some um, paper sheets by the looks of it. Um, sometimes we have um, tissue paper sheets. But this feels more sturdy than that. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Um, cardstock. Um, quite a nice um, heavy cardstock different designs so let me just um, show you these look at the doily design at the top as well isn't that just beautiful that one i think is upside down look at that beautiful rose oh these are just lovely i like these um a lot so we've got five five sheets um of those and then let's have a look we've got two more things we've got um, a sheet of your creative um, studio design stickers um, in the same theme so same theme as um, everything else going on and then some washi stickers so let's have, let's have a look at these again beautiful packaging in the background and then several different designs. These ones here are re rectangular. There's um, a join here. So you've got four um, on each page here. Then these ones um, are lengthwise exactly as you can see. And then two sheets of, um, of these ones here as well. So thin strips of washi. So really pretty things for us to use again um, this month. So let me put my thinking cap on um, and let's see what we can create. Of course, I want to work in my dedicated Your Creative Studio journal. Um, this is the second one I've made and I haven't filled any of the pages. But would you believe the first page in the journal is lavender coloured? So it's as if it was um, meant to be um, so of course we'll be starting off here now I'll leave the link to the video showing how I made this journal using your creative studio products in the description box below I'll also leave hang on let me just grab it the um, link to this video here as well this was my first your creative studio journal completely full um, only using your creative studio product so if anybody wants any inspiration as to how to use the supplies um, there is absolutely plenty to see here and I'll leave the link to the playlist as well as the video showing how I made this journal as well slightly different um, size to this one here but looking forward to getting started in this one now to start off with I think I might be able to use this page here and create myself some kind of um, a pocket um, I'm going to take the page out of the journal and of course this is the beauty of having um, a signature like this where everything can be slipped out this is um, a no so journal type so you know if that appeals to you go and check out the link in the description box below but I am thinking that um, I can maybe tear off a piece let me just um, lift that up slightly just so that um, I can see where I might want to to tear or cut and I think I'm going to um, tear it so let's just place my ruler in the right place about there I think and I'm just going to start off by making um, a fold and then I'm just going to take this away so that I don't cause any damage to anything let's do this again and let's just try and and tear this and then we can um, ink around the the edges that's cool and that's going to go on there just like just like that now I'm going to use Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain just to ink around the edges, just to grunge this up a bit and get rid of, you know, the white where I've torn my page as well. So let's just get rid of those um, 
those edges and because I can I'm just going to take this off to the sewing machine and add a line of stitching along the side and the bottom doesn't that look pretty um, already so the next thing I want to do is do something with this piece of cardstock here um, this is the one that has this beautiful um, doily type design at the top and what I want to do is fussy cut this out and I just want to add some distress ink again I'm using the walnut stain just to distress the edges add some highlights get rid of those um, white edges as well oops I've dropped it and so now that that's inked around the edges I just want to add this to one of these pieces of um, paper here I think that's going to be beautiful I don't want to cover up too much of that rose and so I'm just going to try and have it as close to the edge as possible this is just crying out to be turned into a tag and I think this piece of packaging here will make the most gorgeous background I'd like to glue that onto the back so what I'm going to do so that I don't make a mistake is just um, chop um, all of the lines and excess um, branding away and now I can glue this down onto the back it's more or less the perfect size so I'm just going to use um, a glue stick and perhaps a bit of art glitter glue just to stick this down and then I can trim around the edges let's cut this down to a tag shape as well do as I always do and just um, flip flip it over onto the other onto the other side let's um, just make sure I've got got it the right way round here we are I know some of you do this with um, with a credit card but you know this works just as well as well and I'm just going to ink around the edges again with my walnut stain doesn't that look beautiful the backing um, just goes absolutely beautifully I found um, the perfect or at least I think it um, is a focal image um, this is just a flower cut out from a wallpaper sample it's one that I've had lying around on my desk and color wise I think it matches beautifully so I'm going to stick that on something like that I also think that one of these journal tabs will look really pretty on the top so I think what I'll do is um, stick that on add a couple of lines of stitching and find um, a quote I've added the word cherish and um, inked around the edges but I still feel that this needs something else I'm just wondering if I can add um, a small piece of the washi tape let's just go for it um, in fact do I want to tear it I quite like to have a jaggedy edge so I'm just going to tear a small amount off the side off why is it so difficult to for me to tear <laughs> and we can add a piece of this just along the the side I just love that um, postmark as well I'm just going to wrap wrap that over so it looks really pretty on the back as well and then I was wondering if we could find something in here that we might be able to use as well just to add a bit more interest We've got, you see those um, stamps there are really pretty. Let me just pull out the pages that I like. I also saw, now where was it, um, some text here that we can maybe cut out. So let's have a look at um, those. Got some purple stamps here, but not the right, not the right shade. I love those ones there as well. Hmm. Oh gosh, there's loads of things. I think I'm just going to cut um, this element here at the bottom out, the purple text writing, and then fussy cut um, these stamps here and let's see what those look like together. These are the pieces I've decided to cut out. I do want to ink around the edges before I do anything else with them, so I'm just using um, walnut stain. Now, what I'm thinking is that I can maybe add this and then the postage stamps. I think I only want two of those because if I have all four, it's going to cover the stem of my flower, which I don't like. So I think what I'll do is, is end up wrapping those around the other side. 
let's just add a tiny bit of glue stick here just going to have that that way round I think I like it just just there and then let's add some glue to the postage stamps I want to see if I can think of something else to do with some of the postage stamps in here as well maybe we could do a postage themed page as well and then I'm just going to have those up there I think like like that and just wrap the excess onto the the other side so that's just added a little bit more interest onto the back of my tag what do you think I've also found this pack of stickers from one of the previous sets as well and I think that's going to look really pretty um, on the side. Which one do I like? I think I like um, this one. Well, I like how that looks. I think we've got just the right amount um, of detail so I'm just going to pop that um, into my pocket. Let's check that um, I'm in camera shot and that's my finished um, first page. Let's see if we can pull another page together. I've got a pile of bits that um, were cut out from um, when I was doing the previous page so you know the postal elements here and I thought I might be able to put a collage together what I am thinking is using these two pieces here just to pad out my background so that's the um, back of the um, purple lavender page so you can still see some of that um, lavender background which is just beautiful but I thought we might be able to add some more colour by using a couple couple of these which were included in the pack. Um, really pretty. Let me just play um, around with this and then of course I can go off camera and try and um, do more with it. But I just love that. I love the cutout piece here. Um, I've also torn out one of um, these little um, botanicals out of the booklet that was included in the pack. And I chose this one. And I'm thinking that I'd quite like to have, have that. Of course, I need to cover up some of the edges. What else did I decide I wanted to do? Now, I've had a play around with this already and I've taken a photograph so that I remember where I wanted everything to go. I've also got this um, little half piece of um, the postage um, stamp. And then I've also got um, these postage stamps here. I did um, cut these in half and I was thinking that one could go, go here. Of course, I can be more particular once I glue this down and then maybe one over over here as well. Um, now, we need something else in the background. And I've also got um, this little page page here from the postage stamp booklet. So I thought I could maybe slide slide this underneath. Let's have a look. Oh, gosh, everything's... Um, moving around where I don't want it to to go but you get the general idea and then I also dug out um, a couple of butterflies from a previous set I've got this one and this one this one here and I am thinking that I can have the larger butterfly down here beautiful and then maybe another one up up here and then I just need something um, just in the top right hand corner. Now, what did I have? I'd also got this, which I had cut out and I thought maybe just those two little um, postage stamps there would do the do the job. Let's move that up a bit. And I think that's how I'm going to have my page. And so I'm just going to go off camera now and glue everything down. But isn't that pretty? Let me just show you what this looks like before I finally piece everything together. So we've got the first four pieces down. We've got the two pieces of ephemera, um, then this piece here and the little postage stamps. Then I've glued this little cluster together as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this is just postage stamp cut um, in half. And so that's going to go down there, something like, um, like that. Um, 
and I think when you see it like this, it looks um, a lot less intimidating, um, you know, and less complicated. And then my butterflies will go down on here, something like, like this. So as soon as I've finished off my page, I'll be back to show you. But I think that's going to look absolutely gorgeous. These are actually um, stickers, but I'm not going to bother to take them apart. I'm just going to apply glue down the spine so that mine have got a little bit of dimension. So just a tad of glue there and we'll stick that um, on the join. So that one can go there. Again, I'm just going to fold this one in half as well and do the same, the same thing. So just a smidge of glue just down the, the spine. You don't need much of um, this glue at all. And we'll have that one on the other join here as well. And that is my finished my finished page. I just love this page. The colours are so pretty. Now I've cut myself so blood alert. Hopefully I've managed to stop it. I've just given myself a paper cut on the tip of my pinky finger. I think that the ledger paper here on the right hand side again is just crying out for some kind of postal theme and will also um, tie these two pages together. And I've pulled out some bits and pieces from um, one of the previous boxes. I've got this part Avion um, envelope here I love this I've used this in my last journal and what I'm thinking is that I can glue this on um, the back like so um, this will give me a little um, flap which I like the idea of as well as a tuck spot and this is where I need to be careful and how I cut myself this is um, take two um, I'd also got um, these little tickets from um, a previous set not the same set as, as this one here and I decided that this one here would go really well and tie the purples together with the opposite page so I want to try and incorporate that I've also got um, one of these labels which are folded in half so I'm thinking that we can add a little tab at the top it needs distressing it's um, too bright white as it stands at the moment what else did I pull out? Oh, a couple of labels again from one of the previous boxes. Was it this one here? We had um, this box of, of labels here in a previous set and I thought this would look quite nice to try and layer things up together. So I don't know, I'm going to go off camera now, have a little play. Um, of course, I need to fill the background as well, but you know, this is the direction um, that I'm heading in. Let's start off with the focal images and then we can um, piece the rest of the bits and pieces together. Um, first of all, I want to distress this. So let me just grab my distress um, oxide ink. I'm going to use walnut stain, um, which is what I've used on the previous pages. Um, in fact, actually, I'm going to use my brush. I think the brush is um, more subtle. So let's age this. It will just take that um, starkness away. Yeah, you see that looks um, better already, doesn't it? And then I'm going to take this off to the sewing machine and match this up. Let me just show you with the stitching on the top of the page so that, um, oh gosh, if I can see what I'm doing, um, just so that it looks um, seamless. So I'm just going to add a row of stitching, stitching here. Now I know you love it when I leave in my mistakes and this is a classic example as do as I say not as I do. Um, my first attempt I'd folded the circle in half and sewed through the whole, um, the whole piece and of course when I try to add it the stitching doesn't line up. How frustrating is that? So I thought ah I know what to do. Took it off to the sewing machine again and stitched through the first half and um, you can see as well that I've already glued this down, lined it up and thought oh that's better until of course I turned my page over and I had no stitching on the other side. So take three what I've done. 
is lined it up with the foot of my sewing machine and stitched down here, flipped it over and stitched down the other side. And so that um, now works really well. So I can line this up with the stitching on the top and it lines up front and back. So next up, let's make um, a mini collage on this page here. I'm going to start off by inking around the outside of the envelope. Try and ink inside here as well, trying not to cut myself. You know how I am prone to injury. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes think I'm the clumsiest person on the entire planet. So I'm going to start off with um, this side here. And of course, I've got my um, postal mark. Oh, bent my envelope. So I'm just going to glue this on. I'm not going to um, ink around the edges of this because I think that would be overkill. Now to tie the two pages together, I think we should bring in some of the washi tape. I'm just going to tear a piece off and raggedly, or try to do it raggedly, tear it um, in half. And then we can have one piece. That's probably a bit long. Let's um, tear, tear a bit off. Then we can have one bit at the top. Let's see where we want this to go. And this will, you know, tie the purples and the patterns together from the previous page. And then we can have these down here. So where do I want um, this to go? I'm going to, I want the raggedy bit to go at the bottom. So let's, again, let's tear this as well. and just stick a piece down down at the bottom like this. And I think that adds a really nice frame and, um, and layer and ties all the colors together. Now I thought we could add another butterfly here as a focal image because I just think this will tie the two pages together. Um, so of course we've got the butterflies over here so that makes um, sense. And I think the colours of this butterfly go well with the red theme as well. So let's have that about there. Let's just press this down until that glue grabs. Now for the other side, I've pulled out two stamps. I've got the typewriter from a previous kit and that would work. I've also got this as well with the um, text writing, um, very much, you know, a letter with flowers as well, which again would tie the flowers together on the opposite side of the page. I think I'm going to use this one, this one here. And um, again, on the left hand side, we've got some um, grey text. So I'm going to use my stays on ink pad in stone grey um, rather than using black. Now, this is one of those stamps where I just could not get um, the backing off. I have tried and tried and tried and you know it just isn't happening so <laughs> that's just the way it goes. There is nothing wrong with this stamp though. It's, um, it's a beautiful beautiful image so I'm just going to stamp as best I can. Um, let me just get um, a pad as well just so that I've got something to press it down with once I get it where I want it to go. I think about there and so I'm just going to press this on top just until that um, ink grabs and that's just um, a nice focal image for the back of this envelope I hope fingers crossed that should do oh isn't that just lovely that's beautiful the background as it is at the moment is just too plain and what I'm thinking I could use a couple of these pages um, again this was from the pad I pulled out this one this one here which I think maybe is a little bit too busy um, I like the calmness of this one I've also got um, this piece of paper here handwritten letter um, which I thought might might work well. I don't want to cover up too much of this um, ledger paper, but I'm thinking I can layer this, and of course, then that will go on top. And that to me just looks um, looks lovely. So I've glued my background pages on. 
And how do I want to do this? Let me just make sure that I apply the glue onto the right side. So I just need my glue on the back here. And let's be careful where, where I place this. I think that looks lovely. Um, I still need to find something to add to the inside. I don't think I'm going to do that today unless something springs to mind in the next um, few seconds or so. But I really like that um, little flip out. I think that's cool. Let's cut out this Par Avion um, Barranquilla here because I think, again, it ties in the, the grey. And then perhaps these two postage stamps um, down here as well. I know we've got those here, but nothing wrong with um, repeating elements. It adds continuity, in my opinion, anyway. And I think I'm just going to glue glue that on there like that. And that just adds um, some balance, I think. And then finally, let's use this leftover piece of paper that I used for the underside here. I'm just going to fold it along this, this line. And then I'm going to stamp using one of the stamps that were included in this month's kit. I'm going to add, add that there. Again, I'm going to use the stone grey. Now with these ones, there's um, a backing that you need to peel, peel off. So I'm just going to pop this down onto my, my stamp pad. No, it's not going to stick. It doesn't matter. Um, not really important. But what I will do is just um, apply a nice amount of ink. Make sure I've got plenty um, on there. Pop it in place again. Where do I want that to go? About there, I think. And then just carefully press down with my, my stamp pad. Make sure that um, ink has had time for the ink to grab. And there we are. What a beautiful, beautiful um, stamp. And let's just cut out one more postage stamp just to dress up the other the other side. So here we are, just another piece of ephemera that I can just tuck inside here like this, just to fill that little pocket and go on in you. I'm just going to have it slightly um, hanging outside, I think. And I just think that makes a really lovely spread. I'm calling this page done. Um, I did end up adding another circle to the top here. I just felt it was a bit too plain. And I found another round one, um, round label in this box here. So I added one of those, inked around the edges and again went um, and added some stitching. So that's how that page looks like um, on the back. I think that will be really nice to fill as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy, happy with that. I think that spread looks lovely, really cohesive. I love the simplicity of the first page as well. So the first few pages, which I find are always the hardest, are now done. As I said at the beginning of the video, I'll leave the link to Your Creative Studio in the description box um, for anybody who's interested. Um, this is a great representation of the types of goodies that are included in the boxes each month. And I hope it's given you some ideas and inspiration as to how to use them and perhaps as well mix, um, you know, elements from previous boxes that you might have received as well. But I also hope that, you know, even those of you that are not interested or can't afford forward to subscribe to any of these boxes that it's given you some ideas um, for using um, items that you might already have um, in your stash. So if you've enjoyed today's video as always I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Um, do let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, please consider subscribing to my, to my channel and of course hitting that bell notification as well so that you are notified of future videos. I can't tell you how much um, that helps my channel but most importantly Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.